was that? Oh, f what happened? So we want to machine this up. We've got to put a hole through it and clean up that face to dimension. And ideally we should square up the sides. So my plan for that is I've got this, um, I've got this uh, little um, fixture that I've made. And that, what I was going to do is silver solder this casting to that fixture. And then I've got a reference surface that I can hold at 90 degrees and I can get to the top, I can get to the, all four sides and I can get to that hole. Okay, we've cleaned up that bottom face and now I'm going to make sure that top edge is parallel so I can hold that. And I've gone as close as I can, or pretty close, to that, to the front of the casting. Now I'm on the level with the top of the block there and I'm going to come in and clean up the side faces. Make them... ...perpendicular. What I've got here is I've made this little uh, I made this little jack, and I tuck that under there, and uh, and and uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll tighten that up so that so that's going to support uh, this uh, this this uh, guide bush here, and we're going to uh, center on that part there and drill through and and ream it. And the other thing I've got to do is clean up that outer face um, so that it's it's round. So there's like a round collar on the end. And we'll do that with the boring bar. Okay, so as well as I can, I've sent it up on this using my wiggler and just comparing the distance at the edge. And... Uh, that's all right, so I've gone straight to the, I think I'll start with the boring bar. And what I'm going to do is I've got it facing inwards, I've got it reversed, and I'm going to run it backwards.
bit of silver steel in the, in the lathe and I'm going to use the, the center drill, put a little cone in there and then we can make a tool. D bit grinder, got our little cutting tool set up and it's going to turn that way, right hand thread. Uh, so we want to cut up to the center of that bottom edge. Don't really care what the top edge does. So if we go in that far. So we've made this little conical cutting tool and we're going to see if it works just to put a little <laughs> it's pretty good okay we flip the part and put it back in the vise and now we just need to center up on this pin so we can clean up this other end and I've set up the coaxial indicator and you can see we're pretty much right on the money there so I've zeroed the DRO and we should be pretty good there So the biggest problem with making this part here really is the lack of reference surfaces and my first attempt uh, went pretty well except that uh, this this hole here was nowhere near where it needed to be and of course it's very difficult to know where it needs to be when it's hanging out in space like this. So what I decided to do was put my base plate back onto my fixture plate here and then I made this I made this fixture which holds this rod here exactly where it's supposed to be. So I, I, I used my um, surface plate and measured from the, from the center of the piston, measured out and measured from the base up and, and calculated where this hole should be. And then I put this in the, in the mill on the um, angle plate and drilled that hole. So that hole is exactly where we're aiming for. And now we know uh, where we need to be. And what I found was that I'd taken too much off of the bottom of this uh, casting here, uh, and I needed to fix it. But it wasn't it wasn't too much that I couldn't fix it. So I made like a little orthotic uh, shim to go on the bottom there, which is like an L-shaped uh, shim, and I silver soldered it on. And I really thought I'd, I'd m made such a mistake that I kind of stopped filming at this point. Anyway, so so now I've got a, a, a fair bit of meat there and I know where this needs to go in relation to the casting. And um, what I did was I made a fixture and I've, I've, I've just thought, well, I'll make a little aluminium version uh, just to test my theory. So I made this little aluminium version here. You can see now that that is pretty much spot on where we need to be. So this proves the theory. And, and so how I made this was I made another fixture. I made, I made this fixture here. Now this is just a little, just a little kind of Joe Pie style nest. Now I'll just show you that this 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 hole here lines up with that. 
So the idea is, I'll just stop and put the rod through. So you can see here, I've put the I've put the casting inside there and I've and I've located it with this hole. So what I did was I machined this fixture and the two faces we care about is this top face, which is the, 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 the front face here, and this side face. And so what we need to do is um, the, we, we care about this top edge here because that top edge there should line up with this top edge here. So I've measured that. I've measured that line and I can use these uh, screws to adjust the height and, 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 and swing that so that height is just right. And then I can machine this down here and I, I used my my aluminium test piece and I and I fine-tuned that height it was a couple of it was a it was a couple of thou too too high and so I know now that if I machine down to that to those two surfaces I should replicate this and it should fit in here and once I've once I've uh, got this to size I can test fit it and if that all works, I can locate these holes and redrill these holes for the studs, and we should be good. But that's a really the, the issues with this was I wanted to um, I wanted to be able to adjust the height here exactly, uh, so that that that's what this screw lets me do. And then once I've got it right, I can lock it in so it won't catch the cutter and flick up, so it's very secure. And it's all I mean I I've, I've obviously ground it but uh, it's all nice and square so I so I don't have to worry too much about where I put it in the mill and I can just clean up those two surfaces and we should be good we've got a predictable uh, a predictable um, way of getting what we want and also uh, if it's not quite right I can I can I can take this pin out and, and put it back in the mill and 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 fine tune it exactly uh, into place. Now, once that's right, and we know we've got this arm lined up with this rod, we can also use this. We can also use the both of them to mark the position of the hole in the steam chest because we haven't we haven't built the steam chest yet. So we still we still have a tiny bit of well, we still have uh, flexibility. I'll get the steam chest. So the steam the steam chest is going to be here somewhere, and, and um, once that's mounted, we can mark the position and machine exactly to the to the known position. So the end result is that we should we should have a very good alignment. afraid of.
going to test this out. So if we pop that in there, like that, locate it against that bottom edge. Look at that. It's very, very close. I think I can just feel. Okay, so I've set the base plate up in an angle plate and I've located these two holes here. So now I'm going to put the, the guide arm back in and, and, and fix it in and drill, re-establish re those, those stud holes. Alright, so I'm over that hole there, got an end mill. In a collet, and I put a drop of super glue on there so this is held in place, and that gives you an idea how accurate we got that line alignment. It's perfect. Now let's see if we can just pick out the top of that hole. Okay. So I've bolted the, the guide on the side there with the bolts, tightened them up, and we are pretty good. I can push that through, it's a little bit stiff, but a tiny bit of binding, but that's pretty close. Okay, so that's the story of the valve guide. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. The, we got there in the end. Uh, the the um, the insight of the little fixture to hold this and the alignment uh, fixture on the on the on the fixture plate I'm saying fixture too many times but those techniques worked really well and I ended up uh, having to make it again because I bought another set of castings for the governor and that's that's got this part with a little boss on the top and I did it all again and it was actually very much faster because I had all the jigs and I knew what I was doing and it was quite easy. Before then I would have said this is the most difficult part in the engine uh, but now I think uh, with the right fixturing it's not too much of a drama. It's very important to do this first and use this to align the point where you need to drill on the steam chest. Uh, I'm actually finish that part uh, and that there'll be more videos to show that process but knowing the exact position of this hole based on this gives you a very good alignment and it worked out very well so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time